Listen, 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 listen. I had to do this video. You know, some of y'all might be like, yo, listen, why are you doing this video, Langston? Da -da 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 -da. Yo, this video is important to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of people leaving in the comment section, like, when I do videos about Atlanta, specifically Atlanta. But, you know, y'all have left uh, these type of comments in the comment section of other videos, but specifically Atlanta. All y'all say is this is another hater. This is another dude that's from New York and he's a hater and blah, 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 blah. He don't like the South and this and that and so forth. Let me set the record straight. First and foremost, I'm a hybrid. And the reason why I'm saying I'm a, I'm a hybrid because I was born in New York. I lived my young life in New York. Like I was young when I was in New York. Even though, you know, I went to school and all the rest of that stuff, I was, just, I was young. Came down South. My grandfather died. My grandmother was in this big house and she said, yay, hey, listen, you know, why don't y'all come down here? Now, prior to us coming you know my mother asked me yo do you want to move down south i said yeah because i used to come down here for the summers and it was beautiful but i'm not thinking that later on once like once i get down here my grandmother remarried and it's like hey listen i don't know where y'all and i g g e r s is gonna are gonna go but you gotta get the hell out of here so we move over to the west side of town and that's when I started seeing all types of crazy stuff going down and I wanted to move my black butt back to New York because my father and his side of the family is all living in New York. My mom said, hey, I can't do it. And I lived in Durham for a couple years. After that, I left, I moved back to New York to Jamaica, Queens with my father. Left, came back down south, lived in Raleigh, lived in Greensboro, Went back to Raleigh, left, went back to Jamaica, Queens to live, and then left there, went to Orlando, came back to Raleigh, and then from Raleigh, I moved to Charlotte, and then from Charlotte, I moved to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta, I moved back to Charlotte. The original move prior to moving to Charlotte the first time was to move to Miami. That was the original move. So I'm just trying to understand, how is it that I don't like the South when, like, I spent years here? That's the first thing. And the second thing is, I'm never going back up North. I despise, I hate the weather. I hate it. I hate New York with the snow. Y'all don't even realize, like, the Tim Boots, people are wearing Tim Boots not because of the style of New York, it's because it snows. And you remember how people used to tuck their, their pants in the boots, in the Tim boots? And y'all thought that that was a style? No, it wasn't. It was so that your pants couldn't get wet from the snow. Because when it snows in New York, it's several feet. I remember one time when I was living, we was living in Brooklyn. And my, my sister probably could, could attest to this. She was young though, you know what I'm saying? But I think she could attest to it. We living in a two-story house, right? It snowed so bad, my stepfather at the time had to go through the top window upstairs and come down to dig us out of the snow. That's how bad snows are when it snows uh, in, in New York. So you think I wanna go back to that? You think I wanna go back to radi radiators? <laughs> radiators as heat? No central air and heat. See, y'all southerners don't know anything about that. Y'all don't know that struggle. You think I want to go back to that? It's a different type of living in New York. And don't get me wrong, the summers are crazy. They're off the hook. It's something special about New York. But you know what that something special is? It's the people. Not so much of the, the city. It's the people. That plain and simple. The people and the culture. And there's enough New Yorkers down here that if I wanted the culture, I could get it. Everybody's migrating from the North to the South because they see just how much more you get. And you don't have to walk four or five or six yards. Let me tell you a secret, Southerners. I'm gonna put you all in, up on game. And I know what the New Yorkers are gonna be like, yo, why you say that, da 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 I don't care, I don't care. I'm not faithful to no one. 
No one. So, let me put you all up on game. You know how the New Yorkers come down here? They decked out. Oh, they got nice shiny clothes and a nice brand new car. And they fly and they fresh and all the rest of that. And you just like, yo, man, my cousin coming down here from New York and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it holds no weight now. Back in the days, it did. Back in the days when you said that your cousin was coming down from New York. Oh, my God. The girls was lined up. Now it holds no weight because it doesn't make a difference where you're from. As long as you got that 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 wave, you got that flavor, doesn't make a difference where you're from. And I'm glad it's like that now, but it wasn't like that before, right? Your cousin coming down. Oh, the girls is lined up. I mean, yo, listen, let me tell you something. All you have to have is that accent. All you have to have is that, that New York hat to the side or whatever have you. Some butter, butter leather Tims and a leather jacket and you in. A champion sweater. You in. The bubble goose vest. You in. You got some fronts in your mouth. You in. The chicks is going to be lined up around the corner for you. But guess what? That same dude. That you were like, oh my God, this, this, this guy is... Yo, this guy is amazing. That same dude is going back home to the projects. Working four or five jobs just to get a bunch of clothes to make himself look like he's doing good. But in all actuality, he's not. I can tell you, my father right now, he stays in Jamaica, Queens, right? The house that I'm in is bigger than his. And there's no disrespect towards him. I'm not saying that. It's no disrespect. He got like a split house. So it's like he owns the, the left side of his house. And on the right hand side, an, another per person owns that side. So it's like four. I forgot how, what they call it. But it's like four apartments in the one. But it's really a house. Those For those that know, you know what I'm talking about. Like from, that's from New York. You know what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not a brownstone. You know what I'm saying? It's like a four-quarter house. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but my father owns half of that. But my house is it's just as is as big as well, no, it's, his house is a little bit more bigger. But it's if you look at it, if I showed you my, my, my house and I showed you my father's house, you'll be like, well, this that's the same size. But actually inside of it, it's it's bigger. But it's like you got radiated heat. No central air and, and, and heat. You got to use box units for, for the air condition. Man, I don't want to live that lifestyle. I'd rather push the button, push it down to 73 <laughs> and let the cold air come, come on. You know what I'm saying? We got a community pool here in, in our community. That's like rare in New York. And if you, got, if you have that in New York, you're paying thousands upon thousands of dollars a month for that. I'm not trying to go through the hustle and bustle. I remember it used to be fun to catch the dollar van to Jamaica Avenue, and then from the from 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 Parsons, you catch the the the, the E train on down to Manhattan. That was fun back in the days when I was young. But I remember when I did it the last time I was living in New York, and I was like, "Yo, man, I gotta get a car. I can't keep on doing this. I just can't." Subways, you seeing rats? When I seen a rat, I'm not lying. This is my word. Y'all think I'm lying? I'm not making this up. I saw a rat get on the the uh, on the train at the Sutton stop. I'm not lying. We stopped at Sutton, the Sutton stop. The shit, the door said Bing Bong, and it opened up, and a rat came in, and then the doors closed. Doors closed, and Bing Bong, and it was just chilling. And I was like, oh, oh, whoa. I don't want to live like that anymore, man. I just don't. I don't understand how y'all saying, like, Langston don't like the South. Well, let me be technical. I, 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 I don't like some of the South. So let me really, really be technical, right? Because Washington, I don't know if Washington is considered the South. I think it's just along the Mason-Dixon line, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so... I skip Virginia because Virginia is a Commonwealth state. Uh, I hate going through that state because the cops are just ridiculous. I hate it, it. The cops are just like on the New Jersey Turnpike. I hate the New Jersey Turnpike and I hate Virginia driving through Virginia, especially like around Petersburg, Richmond area, all right there. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Right. So this is this is this is these are the places that I will live in the South. Right. Charlotte. Miami. 
the end. I'm not hating on anybody. I'm just telling you where I would live at, where I feel most most comfortable at as an African American person. Period. Even though in Charlotte, they the police have shot and killed a couple of black people. I still feel a certain type of how can I say it? Uh, s- s- uh I, I feel a certain kind of way, like safe. Um, cops get behind me in Charlotte. I'm, yo, let me tell you something. Charlotte is like a how can I put it? It's like a a, a gumbo mixture of people and and people down here. The cops. I don't. I don't. I don't know. This is like awkward to me. It's, it's really awkward. How Charlotte? I passed. I passed by cops on the highway. I just sped. Pass a cop the other day. It's like you really don't. I got my license. The license place legit. The, the insurance legit. What am I scared for? Now, if back in the days when I first got here and I had my license was revoked and a cop got behind me, I was sweating bullets. I was turning off the radio. <laughs> I was slowing down. I was shaking. You know what I'm saying? I had every right to be scared. But now I'm a grown man. I, my license is legit. Car insurance, car payment, all of that stuff. What you, if he stopped me, I'm not going to even ask him, ask him where he stopped me for. I'm just going to have my license registration there. And that's that. And I'm going to ask what can I, what I can do and what I can't do. One thing that you have to work up, one thing that you have to think about is this. The law when he stops you the police officer has the power stop stop trying to act like you have some type of power because you don't you could lose your life like that so i'm not asking no questions i'm giving him my, my information and he's gonna run it and that's that you give me the you want me to tell you why why i stopped you? yes sir blah 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 are you gonna give me a ticket yes okay thank you have a good day i'll fight that in court I'm not fighting with a cop because the end result is a bullet in my back, in my head, in my chest, and I don't need holes all up in my body. I don't. That plain and simple. I got to go home to my children, the ones that love and care about me. So I'm not giving a cop a reason to use his firearm. See, I'm using the proper terms now. So if you got a gun in your car, don't say, hey, yeah, officer, I have a registered gun in my car. No, I have a registered firearm inside my car. And it's right there. I don't want to reach for it, officer. You can reach for it. I'm not reaching for no gun. Because the last time a black man reached for a gun, he caught a full few bullets in his chest. I'm not doing that. So... My point in making is this overall. I love the South. My family's from the South. All of them are. All of them are. Listen to what I'm saying, because I know some of y'all are gonna be like, well, didn't you say your father and your grandfather and you know decided his family is from the South? I'm mean, excuse me, from the North? Yeah, I did say that. Originally, originally, all my family on my mother's side is from the South. All my family from my father's side is from the South. They're from St. Uh, excuse me, they're from Nevis, an island right by St. Kitts and the West Indies. And for those that don't know, that is the South. The majority of this planet is Southern. The majority of this planet is Southern. The minorities, the minorities are the cities. Do you not, yo, go to New York one time. The state that is, right? Out of the five boroughs, with the exception of Albany and Buffalo, 80% 80% of New York State is Southern. It's country as hell. Durham, the city that I lived in, is more, way more city than New York State. So technically, all my family's from the South. Why would I hate the South? I love trees. Why would I hate the South? I love the fresh air. Why would I hate the South? I love that it's hot and it doesn't it doesn't get cold like that. We don't have a bunch of snow everywhere like that, like in New York. Why would I hate the South? And all of my children were born in the South. 
That doesn't make sense to me. Some things that I dislike because it's the, the New York side of me. You know what I'm saying? That, oh, yo, I remember da 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 and I wish they had da 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 But I'm not the one to complain. I'm not the one to say, man, you know, I wish I was in New York because of da 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 No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say to mine, like, yo, you know, I do wish that they had this, that, so forth, and blah, 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 blah. Like, I'll give you an example. I wish that Charlotte would vamp up its train system. Just, just to, not to say I'm going to ride it. Just to say, you know, we got a massive tra transit system, you know, subway and this and that and so forth. But I mean, hey, you know, it's cool. We got the light rail and it goes straight, you know, from one point, from, from you know, the beginning of 485 on going Pineville and then going all the way up to 485 on the other side going towards Concord. And, you know, at least we got a light rail. Some people don't. Some southern cities don't. Richmond being one of them. Don't know why. Because the whatever they call that area, I forgot what they call call it area, but it's like Richmond, DC, and that whole area. You know what I'm saying? They need a they need a light rail because when you if for all y'all that drive to New York or just drive through that area, period, it gets it's horrible. It's like Atlanta traffic. It's horrible in that area. The Richmond, DC area and, and Norfolk and all of that whole area is is where Norfolk sits sits away from it but it's they in that whole area it's just ridiculous they, they definitely need some type of train or subway or something over in there you know but besides that man i, I love the south with the exception of atlanta and, and, and y'all you, you know how i feel about it man i'm just land is not wakanda i've been there i ain't see the black panther there no didn't didn't even see the white guy that was in the movie didn't even see him Wakanda is not Atlanta. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Wakanda, uh, Black, Black Mecca is not Atlanta. I'm letting y'all know that right now. And uh, let me tell you something before I get, get off here. Before I say bye. Let me tell you something sh straight up. I, a lot of people have said this in the comment section. Well, the reason why you don't like Atlanta because you failed. You, you must not have no money. You're broke and blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Let's just run with that narrative, right? Now I get money, right? Does the racism stop? Because that's what I'm complaining about. Does the homelessness stop? Because that's what I'm complaining about. Does the classism stop? Does the, 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 the whole I'm clicked together with everybody stop? Get out of here with that, man. No, it does. It doesn't make a difference if you're making a dollar or a million. Um, Atlanta's going to be exactly what it is. Period. Other than that, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, definitely share this video. I love the South. I live in the South. And I'm never going back up to live in New York or any other northern states. Much love to New York. I wish y'all the best. New Yorkers, y'all need to come down here. Um, I see what's going on in Brooklyn. Y'all are going crazy. I don't know what's... I, I see what's going on, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's the purpose of all of this violence. But, I, hey, hey, that's, that's, that's on y'all. Other than that, y'all take it easy. One.